something more shocking just found on asteroid Bennu. It's not enough that it's jagged on its surface and the Osiris Rex can't take a sample. And uh, also we've been told by NASA that it has the Yarkovsky effect making it tumble on its axis and it's not steady on its trajectory. Well, now we find that the other mystery is that it's ejecting material. Asteroid Bennu is ejecting material and they can't explain why this is happening. Osiris-Rex, the NASA spacecraft, which is to analyze asteroid Bennu and is supposed to take a sample and bring it back because then they want to mitigate it, move it out of its trajectory because around 2,138 it uh, could be um, in danger of impacting our Earth or coming too close to our Earth. It will be coming into the inner solar system. And Bennu has made a remarkable uh, event. It's, uh, they've discovered that uh, this space rock is behaving abnormally in that it's blasting out unexplained plumes of dust and material. The never before seen phenomenon was noticed January and has since been documented at least 11 times. Some of the dust expelled was blown out into the void of space but the remainder was actually captured within Bennu's orbit, falling back down onto the asteroid and resting on the asteroid's surface. So what is going on? So NASA, uh, NASA's Osiris Rex tweets that uh, my team, he said, they say, is also using navigation tools to help track and study the material Bennu is ejecting from its surface. This composite image from NavCam1 shows trajectories of particles released January 19. We're talking about January 19 of last year. Green arrows showing and the background stars are in yellow diamonds. And curiously, at least four larger chunks of debris have remained in orbit around Bennu, potentially forming micro-moons of Bennu. Currently, the eruptions pose more questions than the Osiris-Rex team have answers. The origin of the plumes and what exactly triggers them is still a mystery. Another surprise Bennu served up, plumes of particles erupting from the asteroid surface. The NAVCAM-1 imager captured the first ever close-up observations of materials being released and erupting from this active asteroid. It's an active asteroid. Now, how is Osiris-Rex supposed to go and get a sample when all these things are being expelled and erupting from the surface of Bennu? The discovery of these plumes is one of the biggest surprises of uh, the scientific uh, community. Uh, the biggest surprise of my scientific career, said Principal Navigator Dante Loretta of the University of Arizona. The Osiris-Rex probe arrived in Bennu orbit December 2018. It was to study the rock for additional information about the origins of the universe. Okay, that's all nice. Of course, we have the study of the universe, but the fact is that they have to learn, get a sample, bring it back, study it, and find out how to push this asteroid away from the Earth, change its trajectory. That's the uh, important thing to do. So... Uh, is uh, they say it's due to collect a rock sample. A serious rig will collect a rock sample using its extendable arm, but the sampling is proving more difficult than anticipated due to the amount of large boulders on the surface. As we said, it's jagged and they can't get it's not easy to get a sample. NASA Series Rex tweets a smaller sample site footprint will require my descent. This is as if uh, NASA or Sirius Rex is talking to us. Will require my descent to Bennu's surface during the touch and go sampling maneuver, TAG for short, to be more accurate than originally planned. My team is developing an updated approach called Bullseye TAG to target smaller sample sites. And they, uh, they go on to tweet to safely collect a sample. My original mission design called for a hazard-free area 
with an 82-foot radius. With so many boulders on Bennu, though, I'll need to target a much smaller area, about the size of the loose material pond in the upper left of this image. And there's an image here. Um, so, uh, hopefully they'll get the sample. And I'm sure that when they do get the sample, they will all let us know. In the meantime, hopefully it'll also be clear of all these eruptions and... Um, um, uh, the plumes of dust that are exploding off uh, asteroid Bennu. Now, uh, they're planning on mitigating this. How are they going to do that when they have things exploding out towards space? And what is causing all this? Uh, <sighs> this is very strange, very strange. Anyway, I'll leave links below for you for this. This is from uh, RT. And um, tell me what you think. If you know what could be causing this, please let us know. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.